Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. I have this Power BI report, and if I go inside Transform Data, you can see I have applied few Power Query transformations. Its corresponding M code can be seen here inside the Advanced Editor. Now I don't wish to expose these transformation steps to someone who gets this PBX file. So what are the options available for me to solve this problem? Let's find out. All right. The very first approach comes into our mind is, go to your workspace and create a Power BI data flow. And then from Power BI Desktop, we can use the same data flow as a data source. This way, all the transformations will be done inside online Power Query Editor of the data flow. But I don't want to use this approach. Rather, I want to use one special Power Query feature, which will open up a lot of other possibilities. First of all, from Advanced Editor, copy the entire M code or Power Query transformation steps, and then save it into a text file. Before I apply the next step, let me tell you about a special Power Query function, which is called expression.evaluate. This returns the result of evaluating an M expression. Below that you can see, this can evaluate the addition expression mentioned in its first argument. Sometimes it may not identify the function used as text. For that we need to mention the optional identifier, which can reference the environment. For example, I am using a function called text.proper, which is used to capitalize each word of the string. This expression will throw error because this function need to be defined. For that we can use the optional argument, and we will refer the M code library using hashtag shared. This way it identifies the function, and capitalize the first letter of each word. If you want to know more about any M function, you can simply use hashtag shared, and then scroll to find your function and check the details of it. All right, now without further ado, let's jump inside the actual query. Here, I will delete the entire transformation steps, and then we'll author our single line expression from the scratch. First of all, I will write file.contents. The argument for this function is just the file path of my stored text file, which I created earlier. This file is holding all the transformation steps. So I will mention the folder path, and I will also mention the file name inside it. Since we know that this is a file and is treated as binary format, so I will use a function, which is called text.fromBinary. This function will extract the entire text from our file. Finally, I can use our function expression.evaluate. As discussed earlier, we need to use this optional argument as well, for identifier environment. And last, we can just mention the step name to render the final output. This way, we get the complete data, and we are no longer showing our power query transformation steps. If required, you can change the codes from your file, and with each refresh, it will apply all those changes. You can reuse that file in many other queries, and explore more options with that. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for many such interesting topics on Power BI.